Governor Abbott shared a video statement tonight saying he feels like he's in good health despite testing positive for COVID-19. Hello, everybody. I'm Heather Hayes. And I'm Steve Eager. It's 9 o'clock. The governor today made no mention of last night's campaign event in Collin County with about a couple of hundred supporters who came to hear him speak. But last night, he and his campaign shared pictures and video from it that showed no social distancing and very few people wearing masks. Fox 4's David Centendry has the story tonight from Fairview. That's where the campaign event was held last night. David. Yes, yeah, Stephen Heather, behind me is the country club where the governor hosted that crowded campaign event last night, just hours before testing positive for COVID-19. Now he has no symptoms, but still some are worried for the ones he came in contact with. Uh, this is Governor Greg Abbott. As you may have heard by now, I have tested positive for COVID-19. Governor Greg Abbott tweeted a video statement Tuesday evening about testing positive for COVID-19. The positive test came hours after he was the guest speaker at a crowded campaign event in Collin County Monday evening, a standing room only event as he described it on Twitter. Governor Abbott is seen on video posted to his campaign's social media accounts, meeting people in the crowd. Well, we obviously wish the governor a speedy recovery and are praying for him. Texas GOP chair Matt Rinaldi echoes a statement from the governor's office. He was fully vaccinated. He was asymptomatic. Governor Abbott is seen in a photo posted several hours before his positive result was made public, posing with guitarist Jimmy Vaughn, brother of the late legendary Texas musician Stevie Ray Vaughn. The governor's office says everyone that he's been in close contact with on Tuesday has been notified. But there's no mention of Monday's contacts in Collin County. The event was held at Heritage Ranch Golf and Country Club in Fairview, which hosts the Republican Club at Heritage Ranch. There is a very likely chance that you're going to get it at some point in time. The governor's order banning mask mandates in Texas has been widely debated and challenged in court. In mid-May, the CDC updated its guidance to say fully vaccinated people no longer need to wear a mask or physically distance in any setting. Then in late July, when Delta infections surged, it reversed course and recommended anyone, regardless of vaccination status, mask up where there is substantial community spread. The GOP chair, however, is downplaying the fact that most in attendance at the campaign event, including the governor, were not wearing masks, believing there haven't been enough controlled studies to show how effective masks are. I, I, I wouldn't take anything from it other than the governor's somebody who comes into contact with a lot of people. Um, and it isn't surprising that politicians would eventually contract a respiratory disease. Texas Democrats issued a statement wishing the governor a smooth and speedy recovery, adding COVID is not a partisan issue. One Dallas Democrat, however, State Representative Jasmine Crockett, wasn't as supportive, posting to Twitter, what's more appropriate, thoughts and prayers, or hopefully there's an ICU bed if you need one, since you've not allowed locals to try to control this thing and they are running out of beds, or can we finally now allow mask mandates? The governor's office says he's been testing daily, and Tuesday's positive result was the first positive result. The good news is that my wife continues to test negative. Also want you to know that I have received the COVID-19 vaccine, and that may be one reason why I'm really not feeling any symptoms right now. I have no fever, no aches and pains, or other types of symptoms. There are reports that came out tonight saying the governor has been telling people that he received a third booster shot on top of being fully vaccinated. But I reached out to his campaign office earlier today. They say they are not aware of any sort of booster shot, but they did not flat out deny it.